everybody. We are the Bell Welding Group. My name is Cole Ferrer and I'm from Plano, Texas and I'm the researcher. Hi, I'm Kristen Hardy. I'm from Arkansas and I was the co-project manager. Hi, my name is Daniela Ceja. I'm from Hayward, California and I was one of the team managers. Hi, my name is Sarah Edgar. I'm from Illinois and I was in charge of notes. Hi, I'm Katie Curtis and I'm from Potomac Falls, Virginia and I was in charge of presentation. So a little bit of background information on um, Mr. Hamza. So he is from Bauchi, Nigeria, and he um, owns his own welding company, which is pretty awesome. He employ he has about six other employees that work with him, so all together seven people. Um, and he specializes, specializes in making chairs, windows, bed frames, um, and containers. So Mr. Hamza also has um, he has to travel about seven hours in order to retrieve his um, supplies to do the actual welding. He um, generates about 300 to 400 Naira daily, which is super good. Um, his business also took off in August of 2009, which is pretty awesome. So here are some examples of his work. These are just some pictures. Um, from his shop, so you just have a visual to, to understand exactly what we're talking about. So you see the situation he's in, he's in, and then you see that he has um, employers, employees, I mean, I'm sorry, and he has six of them, and this is um, his working environment. And so the purpose that we had in mind when, when thinking of a solution was thinking about his business that he already has and investing in it. To, to invest the revenue that we get once we do our all of our ideas back into the business because um, Hansa doesn't have is not um, doesn't have a partner and he doesn't have children therefore his whole his whole um, life and thinking is in his shop and we just want to make that succeed so that he has something to stand for and he and he already puts all his energy in it so we just want to help him out and and make it even more successful. Okay, so the issue that we were presented with is that Hamza is traveling to a different town to have his metal bent um, instead of having it bent in his shop. Yeah. Okay, so pictured here is a metal vise. Um, in America, we can purchase these for about $100 at any store like Lowe's or Home Depot. And through talking with an international student, we actually learned about this awesome website called Alibaba. Um, we can buy this metal vice off of there and have it shipped to Nigeria for free. So Amza, this means in about a few weeks, you will be saving money on transportation and overall because you will have this vice with you. Okay, now if you've never been in a shop before, you probably don't really know how a vice is works. works. So a vice attaches to the end of a table like this. There are two walls of a vise, and once you push a bar clockwise, the walls, the walls contract, forming together and trapping whatever you have in there. Therefore, you can stick a metal bar in between these two walls, they will contract, and then you have two ways to bend metal. You can use it using a tool such as a hammer to bend it manually at a 90 degree angle, or you can use Spider or his welding machine to warm it up and then bend it. Okay. So, this may seem like a super easy fix and well why didn't he do it we didn't want to present Hamza and frankly overwhelm him with a um, big you know machine that would be difficult for him to use so we didn't want to give him a um, we didn't want to present him with something that would be difficult for him to use we wanted it to be easy simple and efficient which this would be we didn't want to try and solve his Nigerian problem with an American fix so this would be super simple and he would be able to do it for pretty cheap. So most bus business owners, when, they're when they have a problem, they're presented with an idea to fix it, they usually ask themselves, well, how can this benefit me? And I'm sure you asked yourself that through this whole presentation. So basically the main idea is that it will save him money because he won't have to travel back and forth from that other town to get his metal bent. Therefore, he can spend all of that money that he saves on um, safety equipment for not only himself but also his other employees, updated welding machinery, and more advertising. And with the money he spends on the advertising, he can expand his clientele and grow his business. Um, we wanted to take a little time to thank Cosmo for sitting down and talking to us and just listening to us and hearing all of our ideas and just being really open-minded to what we have to say. Um, so thank you for that and thank you for working with us and thank you G double G Y double I for this <laughs> amazing experience.
Global Young Innovators Initiative, transform the world. www.icantransformtheworld.org.